In the last lesson, we looked at the front end of this component. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install it on the back end. And to do so, you go to Components, I'm sorry, go to Extension, and you go to Extension Manager. But just very quickly, before you do that, we have to update this, uh, the version of Joomla. Right now, the current version is 3.36 here at the bottom. And I've noticed that if you install this extension from doing several tests, if you install an extension with, with this version, it's going to give you a lot of bugs and a lot of problems. So what you want to do first is you want to, uh, you want to update this. So by updating the Joomla version, then you're able to get it, you know, when, when you install the component, it works, you know, flawlessly. So when you come here, <clears throat> control panel or from any menu here, you get this uh, Joomla 3.4 is available. So you want to click on the update. And update is very simple and very basic. Now I just want to note here that if you if you already have an existing website and you want to just integrate this with that, you can certainly do that as well. But before you update your site, the reason why I'm just going to click up install the update is because this is a brand new site. I don't have any available co content here, so I'm just going to click on uh, install the update. Usually, it's a good idea for you to back up whatever site you have because when you back it up, then in case of any type of you know issues or whatever, you can just roll back uh, to the original version or the previous version. So right now, it's installing it. It's updating. And sometimes it logs you out. So I'm just going to log back in. And then once you log back in, I'm not going to set the password, then it's letting you know that your site is up to date. So next, you want to go over to Manage. And then you want to go over to, uh, I'm going to come back to this and stuff from Web Tab later. But let's just go over to Choose File. And this is where you're going to grab the extension, wherever you've saved it on, uh, then you can be able to install. So let's do that first. So once I've selected it from where I have it, then I can just click on Upload and Install. And now it's letting you know that it's been installed successfully. So when you click on the components, you're going to see SB Movie Database. And when you click on this, there's absolutely nothing. There you go to celebrities, movies, genres, reviews. Everything is just blank. Uh, this is great because it gives a clean uh, slate that we're going to start from, you know, from the bottom and we're going to add everything on there. But I want to give you just a quick overview of it. So as you can see here, everything is very intuitive, very straight to the point. And that's why I just love, love this component because it's not like a whole bunch of stuff that you got to worry about um, how to put. So you have the movies, you have celebrities, you have the genres. So when you click on new, of course, you have to put in the movie information, which we're going to do that. And celebrities are just, you know, uh, the people there that you can put. But it's really clean. It's very basic. Doesn't require you know a lot of know-how. You know, straight to the point. And so everything you see on the front end here has been managed on the back end. Okay. So <clears throat> next, we are going to install the SP Page Builder uh, component, which is going to help us to style this website. 